Greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Adrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting. I'm here today at the Goodwill hoping to find something good. If you guys want to see other Goodwill Hunting videos, I'll have the link right up there. Hit the little eye, the window will pop out. You can select the playlist. I have playlists for my haul videos and handbag repair videos as well. And I have them all in the description box below. But let's cross our fingers and see if we can find something good. Look at this giant Ninja Turtles guy. 50 bucks. Alright you guys, I'm looking through the handbags, seeing if there's anything good. Don't really see anything too exciting. They do have like this football bag. Interesting. Where is that? Pell Studio. I know Pelsia makes like, they make pretty good handbags. But that design's not my most favorite style. Oh, check this out. This looks like, like a Dooney and Burke or something. It's $3.99. Oh, it is a Dooney. How cute. We're definitely going to get this. It's a cute little wristlet. This bag is cute, it's reminiscent of Rebecca Minkoff, but unfortunately, I don't think it's real leather. But, $4.99. I like this Forever 21 bag, that style is nice. This looks like, almost like an Elliot Luca. I found one very similar to this before. Oh, it is! This is the same exact Elliot Luca that I found and bought and sold. $7.99, hot tamale. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I found this exact bag already and sold it previously. And it's so cute. It didn't come with a crossbody strap, I think. Or no, did it? I don't remember. But this one, how funny. Found the exact same bag at the same exact store months apart. That is really cool. Okay, you guys. I'm like really excited right now. Wow, look at that buckle. That buckle is... Very intense. Oh, hello kitty. Oh, wolves. Oh, look at that little Mickey Mouse lunch pail. This is cute. From Ross, $10. What's this little green bag? Oh, Dina and Ozzy. Tigna, I can never pronounce that. This little blue bag is kind of pretty. What's this bag? Uh, this is Liz Claiborne. Thank you for shopping here and Casper Goodwill. This looks very similar to like Mark Jacobs. Let's see what else they have. Elvis. The king is in the house. Like it. What is this? Metro Bank. Adrian Vita Dino. You know, I've seen, I've been seeing his bags everywhere recently. This bag is not too bad. What are these? Little gold bags. This one's kind of cute. Guys, we just brought out a cart and I had to run over and I couldn't film because there were just so many people. But look what I found on the cart, this amazing fur throw for $12.99. This Tsum Tsum umbrella, which I have yet to see if it works. Some men's oil control soap, some cute socks, and that's it. Oh, look at this blanket. This is brand new, and this is from uh, Target, I believe. Yeah, Threshold, so really pretty. But now we're in the magic plate section. Let's see if we can find some truly magical plates. This is cute with the gold one. Oh, matching plates. Made in Germany. Cute. Porcelain gold rim plates. $3.99 though. What's the color? Purple? Okay, things that are purple are going to be on sale today. So we'll keep our eyes open for anything that's purple. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, JCPenney home. 
This is gorgeous. 99 cents. How much are the big plates? $1.99 green. These are pretty. They look like the Emma plates, but they're thinner. I don't know if these, they're, they don't say they're in like, um, they're like porcelain or anything. I think they're just like regular ceramic type of plates, Ikea. I love white plates though, I keep thinking about them. They look in really good condition and they're from JCPenney. JCPenney has some pretty good houseware stuff. Um, I'm gonna think about that. $1.99, already have a million white plates, but I mean, you can never have too many, can you? There's still room in the China Hutch. <laughs> My mom was like, stop buying plates. And I was like, are you sure? And she's like, no. <laughs> she's like, make sure they're super cute. And I'm like, okay, mom. Ooh, look at that floral beauty. Uh, that looks like... Ooh, gingerbread cookies? How cute is this plate? <gasps> Martha Stewart for Macy's, $4.99. This is so cute, you guys. I might get it. There is some damage on it. Like right there. I don't know. We're going to hold on to it. That's really cute. Martha Stewart. I love Martha. Golden Tradition. Remember my motto, you guys, leave no plate unturned. You might find a really good one. And if I like go through some of them and don't even really look, usually it's because I've already seen those plates before. Because I do come here, not like super often, but I can remember some of the plates that they have. Nope, home. Pottery Barn sauce little plates look exactly like that. Culinary Arts. Oh, I saw these plates last time. They're so gorgeous. They look Versace-esque. And these are so pretty. Oh, purple. These are, well, they're still expensive. $2 each. This one's cracked. I always see these too. I always think they're Le Creuset, but I have no clue what they are. Design Stockholm. Ooh. They weren't so scratched, I might think about it. Uh, anything. Ooh, this is pretty. My Metlocks made in California. 99 cents. I like that color. This is very cool. Hmm. Oh, look at these chargers. They're not my favorite. Ooh. Everyday white porcelain. I feel like I've seen this before. I kind of like it. I'm not too sure if I want it. It's a really, really heavy though. $5.99. The color is green. Oh, why aren't you purple? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Do I want this? I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Let me know in the, in the description box below. And then you guys will see in the haul video if I buy it or not. Ooh! Okay, don't forget to subscribe so that you guys will be updated when did you post that haul video. But I think I'm going to put this in the cart for right now and keep you guys guessing because I think I really, really like this. It's really nice and heavy too. Just got to make sure there aren't any cracks or anything. It's very similar to the Rachel Ray design, but those, like the openings on the sides are smaller. Forgot to finish looking over here. I got... Distracted by the, ooh, Quidditch boxers, size large. These are cute. Um, got distracted by the glassware, unfortunately. Well, fortunately and unfortunately, but it's okay, because we're back here looking at these plates. Look at this. Oh, it's cracked. Can I get you for your walkout? Uh, oh, this is pretty. Couture Fine China. Oh, look at those fish. Those fish look pretty sassy. Do you guys see that? That's cute. 
Okay, that does it with the plates on this side. Let's see if there's any other glassware. <gasps> this is so cute. I wish it wasn't like super like cracked, kind of like right there. Otherwise, I would get this because I want like a little thing for like putting on like a wood. Um, I have like a wood like board, I guess. And then I want to be able to put like a little top or that little thing like that cover for like when Kate has like an extra cupcake or muffin or something to keep it good so I don't have to keep it inside a large thing. But we'll see if we can find another one. $2.99. This is pretty too, but oh, this is nice. Crossno. <gasps> Crossno is expensive. $7.99. Why is it salvage? What's wrong with it? Is it because of this weird bubbling stuff? What is that? Crossno is expensive. No? Well, $14.99. 50% off only. Hmm. Ooh, this butter dish is exquisite. I need a new butter dish. The one we have is like very, it's glass and it's pretty, but I feel like it's a little, I don't know. I wanted something a little more modern. That one was a little too, like, you know, I have my, my grandma's sensibilities, but I feel like I want like something like this, which is perfect. This is $5.99. Do you think it's too expensive? I'm gonna think about this too, cause this is really nice. I've been looking for a glass butter dish like this for quite some time. And now that I found one, $5.99 is a little expensive, but I think I might go for it. Oh. Oh, it's cracked also. That is so unfortunate right there on the bottom. Can you even see that? Yeah, there you go. $14.99, again, this is 50% off. I don't want to buy a cracked one for like seven dollars. Okay, so that's gonna be a no, unfortunately, for the time being. But this is the cutest little candle pedestal, two ninety nine. I think I'm gonna get this. This is pretty. I always look at this. It's always here, and it's always cracked, and it's always four ninety nine. This is really pretty too, though. Very heavy, very large, seven ninety nine. You guys know that I am partial to these. This one is a cute one. $2.99 is not bad. I've been looking for another one. I did find one before, and my, I think mom's gonna use it as like a vase because it's really pretty. So I think I might get this because it'll kind of go with the other ones that we have. Uh, I don't know, $2.99, I'm still thinking about it, but look at this beautiful popcorn thing. And look at this, what is this? Strawberry Street, TJ Maxx. Okay, these two pieces are still here. There was a second one just like this, but that one's no longer here. Oh, so unfortunate. I would have bought it, I think, if I saw them again. Guys, I was looking in this cart and I just found this Harry Potter broom. I gotta get this for it, for uh, for Cade. He is going to die. This is so exciting, it's only $3.99. All right, let's focus on this cart right here and see if there's anything good. Bananagrams. This little guy. Oh, this is pretty cute. Wow. That's huge. This is where I found those Mickey Mouse plates last time. I was hoping to find maybe some more. Sometimes they bring them out at different times and they're just sitting somewhere, but didn't see it. Oh, look at all this blue stuff. I love blue. I feel like I want all of it, but can't get any of it. I have to be strong. Pick China. This is actually really pretty. Oh, uh, what is that little plate? Obviously, I have to look at all these blue plates, though. Where are these from? No. Do you guys see any Lake Crusade over there? Let's go check it out after we look over here. Always looking at this, like, I don't even know what this is. It's from Target, I think. Modern Bowl by Dwell Magazine. It's really pretty. I feel like this would 
make like a really good like <laughs> that like when you put like a potted plant on top of it and like it's kind of like the bottom part I don't know, does that make sense it's really cute 7 dollars gonna think about it so I think I'm gonna get this ginormous glass jar. I just have to make sure that there aren't any chips in the glass. It's gonna be perfect to hold mom's soap that she makes for like her like laundry detergent because she likes to make her own and this looks like it's in perfect condition and this is perfect. She can have like a little scooper in there and then take the lid up. And then down here, I found this really cute like gingerbread house mold, I think. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's Pampered Chef and it's 50% off because it's purple. So I'm super excited. Never mind, it's like a drink dispenser and it's missing the little spout, which is unfortunate because this would have been a really cute drink dispenser. But now I can't get it and use it for soap if it has a hole in it. Look at this. Too bad it's missing the little thing right there. of these vintage chairs look cool to me. These are actually pretty cool too. $7.99 each. Ooh, trash can. Broken trash can. I already have too many of these, but this piece is pretty cool. Definitely from Target. Definitely no price on it though. I wonder. It's pretty beat up, but I can fix that easily. But still, no price tag on it. I think this is some kind of stool. $14.99. It's really, really cute. It's really tall, though. And then this one, I believe, is a threshold piece. It's missing the price tag and has quite a number of scratches and stuff on the top. So I think it gives a character, and you can just fill those in really easily. There's no price, and then it has like those cool, like a leather details on the bottom. I'm gonna bring it up and see how much they'll give it to me for. Alright you guys, I just left the store and I got a ton of really good stuff so don't forget to subscribe so you guys will be updated when I do post the video for the haul. And let me do down below what your favorite item was that we found today. We found so much good stuff. I can't even really decide what it was that was my favorite because there was just so much good stuff. So, oh, and don't forget that I am now doing a, what's it called? I'm showcasing different people's closets online so if you guys are selling anything on Poshmark, Mercari, Vintage, anything, drop me a message and maybe you'll be featured. So don't forget to check out at the very end the featured closet for today. And thank you guys again so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you. Bye. I don't think it has any particular brand. It doesn't say anything inside it except it has this um, little tag in here that says assembled in China. Leather is from the United States. And the leather of this bag, let me tell you, is exquisite. It feels like butter. I love it. And the hardware is all really substantial. And it's definitely a vintage piece. And I just love this bag immensely. I love that it has like this cool like 